stop and consider this impossible task. Engineers in Brisbane planned a structure so big it would cover 65,101 square metres. That is larger than nine professional soccer pitches put together. This structure, the Brisbane Live Arena, is designed to hold up to 18,000 people and cost an estimated 2.1 billion Australian dollars. But here is the shocking twist. The entire building cannot sit on solid ground. It must float, perfectly still, directly over the city's busiest non-stop main rail lines. This means fighting two enormous constant forces, the crushing weight of the building itself and the non-stop shaking and noise from trains thundering underneath, 24 hours a day. The engineers must make the ground disappear. How do they float a stable, silent mega venue right above an active rail corridor, ensuring not a single tremor reaches the concert stage? To understand this mega build, you have to look at the history of the land itself. For decades, the Roma Street area was a painful gap in the city centre, a wasted space often called the rail scar. Active rail lines cut off the central business district from the beautiful parklands, creating a mess that was difficult to navigate and even harder to build on. Engineers had a special name for the site's difficult slopes and complex ground, topographical tyranny. The chance to heal this scar came with the city's massive transport upgrade, the Cross River Rail project. In 2016, a daring idea was put forward to place a world-class arena right over the tracks in a market-led proposal. The vision was huge. This was not just a venue, but a plan to create a vast new civic heart. The arena was designed to unify the city, connecting the new Roma Street Station, Wickham Park, and the surrounding areas. It was also planned as a key venue for the 2032 Summer Olympics. This ambition meant the arena had to be highly functional and adaptable from day one. This location gave the city the ultimate transport link, the best connected spot in Brisbane. But for the design team, including global engineering firm Arup7, it forced a desperate battle with the ground beneath them. The only way to build was to anchor the impossible right through the tracks. If we want to know how they plan to build this $2.1 billion floating dream, we must follow the structural load. Every column, every seat, and every fan's weight must be carried on an incredible journey from the roof down to the deepest part of the earth. The main challenge is simple. The entire weight of the arena, including its massive structure and up to 18,000 people, must be transferred down without touching the active train lines. To do this, engineers must bypass the tracks and the unstable surface soil until they hit solid rock far below. The ground at Roma Street is difficult, a complicated mix of unstable sand and stiff clay. Engineers cannot use typical shallow footings. Instead, they must use massive, deep-drilled concrete piles, huge columns of steel and concrete that pierce through the weaker soil layers. The sheer depth required for these foundations is staggering. The adjacent Cross River Rail Services building, which is part of the same precinct, required its foundation base to reach 24.5 meters below the surface. That depth is equal to stacking nine average-sized city buses end-to-end -end and plunging them underground. The arena's foundation piles must plunge to a comparable depth to ensure the stability needed for the immense weight above. This deep foundational work must be executed with extreme precision, threading the piles through the ground while avoiding the intricate existing network of active tunnels and underground services. This secure anchoring is the first step in making the impossible float. Once the deep anchor points are set, the next critical challenge is creating the floor, a massive, rigid shelf that acts as the base for the entire 18,000-seat arena while spanning the rail void. This structural floor is the megadeck structure. Architecturally, the arena mass is described as floating above a thickened landscape form of the podium. This podium is the engineering heart of the project, a giant structural bridge made of concrete and high-strength steel. This megadeck must perform a miracle. It has to take the enormous concentrated weight from the arena's main columns and spread that load safely out to the widely spaced, deep foundation piles. To span the wide rail corridor, the deck cannot be thin. It uses immense, deep transfer trusses, essentially giant beams that are likely several meters deep. The height of a small delivery truck turned sideways. These massive beams provide the rigidity and stiffness needed to prevent any measurable movement or wobble 
over the active tracks below. This deck also serves as a new public space, covering 65,101 square meters. This design allows thousands of pedestrians and cyclists to move seamlessly from the new Roma Street Station across the main Emma Miller Place forecourt and into the parklands. They would be walking on a massive, heavy-duty bridge spanning one of the busiest transport routes in the city, never knowing the engineering complexity beneath their feet. But now that the deck is built, how do they stop the sound of a train from ruining a concert? A world-class arena demands absolute quiet and stability. A constant low-frequency rumble from trains passing directly underneath would destroy concert acoustics and cause unacceptable shaking for high-precision sporting events. The engineering focus is eliminating structure-borne vibration, the shaking that travels from the tracks, up the foundation piles, and into the concrete frame of the arena. To achieve this absolute silence, engineers use a sophisticated system of structural dampeners. These devices are placed strategically between the main supporting columns of the Megadeck and the arena structure built on top. They effectively decouple the two structures, breaking the path for vibration. These dampeners use viscoelastic materials. These are industrial-grade polymer or rubber pads, much thicker and stronger than the shock absorbers in a regular car. When a train passes below, the Megadeck shakes slightly, but the viscoelastic material absorbs this low-frequency energy. It works by turning the vibration into tiny, harmless amounts of heat, ensuring the shaking stops before it can travel up into the seating bowl or the stage. For this large-scale urban project, modern systems might also use semi-active control systems. These smart systems utilize sensors located deep within the structure to monitor ground movement continuously. The sensors can detect a heavy train and instantly adjust the stiffness or resistance of the dampeners. This ability to adapt to the shaking in real time is a powerful use of technology, ensuring the stability and silence of the arena floor remain perfect, regardless of the constant movement meters below. Once the structure is stable and silent, its value comes from its flexibility. The Brisbane Live Arena must act like a chameleon, able to transform its layout quickly to handle everything from massive rock concerts to Olympic sports. The seating capacity must transform dramatically in a short time, swinging from a maximum of 18,000 patrons for a concert down to 16,000 for fully seated sporting events and even shrinking to an intimate 5,000 capacity for smaller shows. Achieving this rapid transformation is a feat of mechanical engineering. It requires massive, motorized telescopic seating banks, entire sections of seats that retract into the walls and floors on precision tracks. The most extreme test of adaptability was the original plan for the 2032 Olympics. The venue was initially slated to host the swimming and water polo finals. This required the Arena Bowl to temporarily accommodate a world-class, regulation-sized 50-meter competition pool. The complexity was the weight of the water. A standard 50-meter pool holds over 2.5 million liters of water. Since water weighs 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, the pool structure had to be engineered to temporarily support the immense weight of the water, which is equivalent to about 2,500 small family cars. The entire mega deck and foundation system had to be structurally over-engineered from day one to handle this colossal temporary aquatic load, distributed perfectly over the suspended rail lines. The spectacular technical solution to build over the rail corridor defined the project's staggering estimated price tag of 2.1 billion Australian dollars. This high cost immediately placed the Brisbane Live Arena under intense scrutiny as the government worked to keep the total Olympics infrastructure budget within a strict 7.1 billion Australian dollars cap. The difficulty and high price of the over-rail engineering made the original site a target for budget simplification leading to controversial proposals, including relocating the venue to the simpler, cheaper Roma Street Parkland, or even scrapping it entirely to put the funding toward the massive 63,000-seat Victoria Park Stadium development. To try and secure the project and limit public debt, the financial model was recently shifted from a fully publicly funded approach to a public-private partnership, PPP, aiming to attract external investors. While the venue is currently targeted to be operational by 2031, ready for the Games, this ongoing debate over its location and funding means the clock is ticking rapidly on this engineering dream. 
The ambition of the Brisbane Live Arena, as originally conceived over the Roma Street Rail Corridor, is a clear statement of engineering defiance. It was designed to fix a broken part of the city and deliver an acoustically perfect, vibration-free experience while trains rush beneath. This is the ultimate mega-build, not just about constructing a massive space, but about solving impossible problems to unlock the future of a city. If you were shocked by the challenges of floating an arena over a train line, hit that like button now. Tell us in the comments what mega build you want us to tackle next and subscribe to the Ultimate Mega Builds channel and turn on notifications so you never miss a new episode.